feel like there's something missing. There it is. Hey guys, it's Caroline and welcome back to my channel for another video. I am so sorry I haven't posted in a long time. I've been super busy with school, but guess what? Today is my first day of summer, so that means more videos for everyone and I'm super excited. So I'm starting off with today's video, which is going to be 15 things I learned freshman year and some freshman advice for you guys who are going to be freshmen next year. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started. Alright, so being a freshman in high school can be scary. Trust me, I was a little nervous on my first day, but honestly, high school is so much better than middle school. You're going to find that, and it's great, and you're going to end up like fitting in just fine. But I have a couple of things for you that I learned my freshman year for advice for you guys who might be scared, things you just need to know about high school. And that's just what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to start with number one, which is involvement. In middle school, really no one did anything in terms of involvement for school because everyone thought middle school was lame and boring. I did too. I was on the dance team at my middle school, but like still I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to say I'm on my middle school dance team and stuff like that. Like, so no one wanted to be like really involved in middle school, but in high school, it's all about involvement in sports school spirit everything like you want to show your spirit for your high school like high school is like college and for like a, in a way in terms of spirit like you want to be out there showing school spirit like if you don't you're not cool honestly in high school like if you're like don't go to pep rallies and you like sit in the cafeteria instead like you're not cool number two is going to be clicks now they're not going to be like the normal high school clicks that you might see on tv you'll have the popular kids you'll have the geeks you'll have the emos you'll have the nerds you know what all those other stuff but like they're not like super stereotypical and you're still gonna end up becoming friends with all of them. Like honestly, some of them you know are part of cliques, but they're still really nice people and you're still gonna become part of them and you're not yourself gonna be in one clique. For me, I had multiple different friend groups and not one different friend, like one main friend group in high school. So like, I'm still in high school, but freshman year. So like you're gonna get there and you're gonna realize you're not gonna be spending time with the same people. Also, the popular girls might not be who you think they're gonna be. You think they're gonna be all stylish and like built up and everything like that. And they're like, you know, walking around like they own the joint. Well, not in my school. For me, the popular girls are actually the nicest girls, the sweetest girls. They're athletic, they're involved, they're um, showing up to everything, they're supporting everyone, they're friends, they have good grades. Like, they are not like what you might think they might be. They're like, honestly, people you want to be. <laughs> like, when you get older, like, you're like, I want to be her. Number three, dress code. All right. Middle school is really strict on dress code. High school, okay, at the beginning of the year, they're going to be like, um, is that a tank top? High school is really kind of like, they look at dress code, but most teachers really don't care. And most administrators don't care. Like, I actually had teachers who would try to code me instead of the administrators. And then, like, even then, I was still like, okay. So, like, if you're going to wear a tank top, bring a jacket. Just know you might not put it on all day. And also, in high school, you're going to realize that you're going to get up so or so late in the morning that you're not going to want to look cute or anything. Like, you're going to have the girls at school who dress up every single day and look poppin'. And if that's you, that's totally cool. That wasn't me. I was not that girl. And, like, a lot of girls at my school, at least, they would wear shorts and long t-shirts. And it would honestly look like pajamas. But for me, it, like, wearing that with, like, high top converse was honestly really cute, too. Number four, extra credit. Do it. Like, that's literally all I have to say for that one is just do it. Because you're going to come around and it's going to be the end of the year and you're like, I'm good. I didn't need to do that extra credit that they did last year, like um, a couple weeks ago, because you had a 96 in the class then. Well, then you come up with a more tests and exams and all of a sudden you have a 90 and you're like, whoa, what the heck? And you have one big exam coming up and you're like, if I don't ace this, I'm going to fail. But if you did the extra credit, you might have a 93 right now instead of a 90. Also, homework assignments might randomly automatically have extra credit on it, and if you didn't do it, not only do you lose extra credit, but you also lose your regular points, and you're just putting yourself further down on your grade mark than you want to be higher up. Always do the extra credit. Number five. Speaking of which, homework. Do your homework, even if it's not the most exciting. Honestly, I hated doing homework, and there's a couple times I would do it. I would do my homework in third period that I had to do fourth period, but still, I got it done. No matter what time you have, just do your homework because these things really count out. Like honestly, there's a lot more homework in my classes than there was classwork. So just get your homework done because they really actually do contribute to your grade. Number six, boys. Where do I even begin? I feel like I should do a whole segment on this. If you want me to do a whole segment on high school boys, give this a thumbs up. Boys in high school are a piece of work, I'm not gonna lie. So you're gonna get to high school and you're gonna have a Snapchat and all of a sudden, this is gonna be blowing up with the blue boxes. Because boys in high school are insane. <laughs> like, honestly, if you can find a really true, genuine high school boy, I'm gonna be awarding you a prize. Because high school boys, like honestly, I feel like 
all they want is what you probably already know. You just don't waste your time with them because they're gonna just keep asking you for the same things. They're gonna keep blowing up your DMs and your Snapchat and your messages asking you for the same things and they might seem genuine and nice at first. Number seven, studying. I actually really didn't study that much in high school and seeing it, studying is when it actually really counts in high school. Like for the first quarter, second quarter, you're not gonna have like a lot of the harder stuff. But like second, third quarter actually is when you get the hard stuff. You really actually want to study. Like, I, for me, sometimes I can go and get an A on a test without studying, but, like, honestly, I've kind of learned study habits now this year because there have been tests I've had to study for because I had to get an A on them, and there are things I've had to do, and, like, studying, honestly, is the difference between acing a test and not. Number eight, electives. These are your free classes. Have electives that are easy because you're going to have an AP class probably as um, AP Human or something for history. Have all of your electives be easy because these are going to be your easy 100s, easy A's and you're going to really appreciate it later whenever you look and you don't have all these B's and everything and you have a couple hundreds in the grade book. It's going to raise your GPA and you're just going to be pretty proud that you have those. Number nine, exams. Exams are either going to be super easy or super hard, depending on the classes and depending on the teachers. Now, towards the fourth quarter, for me, for all my exams, because you had EOCs and everything at the end of the year, exams, con kind of like your nine weeks exams, are kind of tossed to the side, and then you just have like easy study guides and everything. They'll give you study guides for the most part if you have teachers like I had. And then it's going to be exactly like the study guide, and honestly, exams can either make your grade or break it depending on the semester and depending on the quarter, but in the last quarter, exams are kind of one of the like nice things is that some of your classes don't have them, some of them have easy ones, and they're really just full flops, so really watch for your exams and really see what's going on. Number 10, football games. Football games are one of the most exciting, quintessential things about high school. It's exciting to go to football games, it's exciting to be around all the people and have like all the fun and just be full of school spirit even if your team sucks like mine did, hopefully it'll be better this year, but just go to the football games, go have fun, you're going to meet new people, you're going to try new things, that sounds bad, you're not going to like try new things, but you're going to like, you know, experience high school football which is one of the best parts about high school is going to football games and pep rallies and stuff like that, so go to the football games. Number 11. Speaking of which, homecoming and pep rallies. These are exciting. Homecoming is really fun. I had a great time at my homecoming. It's great getting dolled up and going to take photos. It's like your mini prom. If you have school spirit, like if your school has as much school spirit as mine, they're going to be super fun. I know some schools in our county really have really sucky pep rallies at Hagrid, but you know, it's okay. Like some of them are going to be really fun. So just go, have fun, be with your friends, show your school spirit and cheer on your school. Number 12, time management. This is gonna be a big thing in high school. I had to really learn how to manage my time because high school is all about trying to figure out what you're doing and trying to make sure you can get up early and balance your extracurriculars and your studying and your homework and your classes and you're like, ah, so much going on. The first quarter is when you're really gonna figure out how much you've got going on. Your teachers will help you edge it through and then all of a sudden it will just run into you like a train. Like it's gonna come fast. Number 13, friends. So, friends are going to be really how it makes you, like, gets you through high school, especially if you have all the same classes. A lot of freshmen will have, even if you don't have the same, like, class period, you'll have the same teacher, which is exciting. And then you get to see all of these different classes and all these different teachers, and you get to talk about all of your work. And you also get to vent to them. Friends is really what's going to keep your stress level down. You want to have your weekends with your friends. You want to go places with your friends, go to your football games, your dances. Friends are really what's going to also make high school great and fun. So just make friends, make, like, have fun, be nice to everyone, especially if you, like, have a lot of friends in your classes. It'll make going to high school a lot more enjoyable. Just watch out for drama. I got sucked into some drama by fake friends this year and just watch for your true friends. See who your true friends are. Number 14. Yeah. Sleep. You're not going to get a lot of it, but during the weekends, that's when you get to sleep in and weekends are great. Days that you get off are great. It's amazing. But sleep, you're going to, if you are like me, you're going to get up early. So I know some schools, they don't get up early for school. No, it is actually true. You won't get much sleep, but just try to t manage your time once again to where you can at least get at least six or seven hours because I managed to, I was able to go sleep at 10, but I know people would stay up until three in the morning. She knows who she is and she would get no sleep and it's not good for you. So just try and get as much sleep as you can, even though it will be difficult if you have to go to school like me, I have to go to school at 7.20. And the last one is number 15 and that is going to be classmen and your whole year. Upperclassmen. 
they're not as scary as they seem. You're going to make friends with a lot of them. They really don't care that you're a freshman. And also, you know how the whole thing of they're supposed to like, boo you and like jump you in the trash can stuff? That doesn't happen. I mean, during pep rallies, they're like obligated to boo you when they're like, your class of freshman 2020, everyone boos. So like, I mean, there's that. They're going to boo you, but they're not going to be like mean to you or dump you into trash cans or anything like that. They're going to be really sweet and really nice. And you're going to have a lot of friends that are upper, like upperclassmen. They, become, may, they might become some of your best friends during high school. And they're just really going to be great. And they're going to also help you guide you through high school because they were once a freshman too. They're like your background support to help you get through your freshman year. And then that leads me to your year. It's going to be a great year as a freshman. You might think it might be scary, but honestly, I had a great freshman year. It's a lot different from middle school, but in a good way. So just keep that in mind that it is not going to be anything like middle school. You're going to have a great time. You have so many, so many more experiences in high school, and it's going to be amazing. So just enjoy your freshman year class of 2021, or whoever's watching this afterwards, because it's going to be amazing. So that was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure once again to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want me to do any of those videos I mentioned while I was doing this video and you can subscribe somewhere on the screen and you can see my last video somewhere on the screen and just make sure you follow those and everything and I will see you guys in my next video which will be a lot sooner than when I posted this one as to my last one so just remember that and I will see you guys in my next video bye